Hey guys, KT here. Welcome back to some more Life is Strange, where last time we made one of the hardest decisions I have made in this game so far, uh, and returned to our timeline. I as... can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Fact. But uh, we're heading on back, because we're no. going to... Oh, that shit. poor little bird has been trapped in here. You ever grab the bird before it gets worse? Before it dies? Spoil it like that. Where's the birdie? Come here, buddy. Come on, out. Okay, we're gonna go open the window real quick. And then the bird... Oh, shit. There we go, there we go. Come on, buddy. Fly. Be out, free. Out the window. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Save the birds. <laughs> Save the birds! Uh, or as an old saying uh, I used to go by with my friends, feed the birds! As we throw uh, food out the window. Shit. Uh, stupid high school shit. Not gonna lie. Ugh. Miss those days, though, just hanging out with my bros. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Damn. I feel bad. Because, uh, you know, I don't think he meant for that shit to get as bad as it did. All right. Is that bad? Talk to my parents. They... We survive. Let's mourn later. Yo, yo, Max. Your friend Chloe texted me, and I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get what? What? <laughs> Chloe actually texted you? I sure didn't have her number. At least I still get the go ape with you. Unless you want to chill with Chloe. Or we could all go. One pain in the, one pain in the ass is enough. Cool. I have to jet talk to you later. Uh. Oh, hey, we got... Yo, we got more! Oh, don't show me Kate's. I already feel bad. Alright, let's see what we got. Miss Clawfield, I wanted to thank you so much for your actions with my daughter Kate. You should. Oh, we already saw that. Here's it. Max, this is Richard Marsh again. I wanted to let you know that Kate's service is next week and our family would like to ex extend our invitation to you. I know you've been through a lot and we fully understand if you can't attend. Kate was our special angel. And your friendship with her blessed us all. I'll send you the details later today. Again, thank you for being the light in the darkness. Thank you, Mr. Marsh. I absolutely will attend the service. I know my words won't uh, don't mean much, but I want you to know. Thanks. Th thank you, Microsoft. <laughs> uh, words don't mean much, but I want you to know that Kate is always my th in my thoughts and always will be. Damn. I it's still I still feel bad about that about the fact that you know Kate's gone so okay let's see Maxine what the heck is going on with the weather up there are they doing military tests or something you're right in the eye of the storm yes I even killed my plant Lisa oh I'm sorry sweetie get another one plant was stressful enough now back to the books talk soon okay Justin, what does he have to say? Because I don't think I've messaged him before. Right? Or no, I, it looks like I did. Sorry, my phone was in my bad. Hey, Justin, you busy? Max Wax, I'm super... I'm busy blazing. What What up? You know Frank Bowers, drugs. That's it. Uh, ask Nathan. He knows him, I think. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, Justin. For what? Yeah, he was buzzed. <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh, all right... Okay, who is, who is this? Hold up. Juliet. Oh, okay. Hey, Max, I hope you're okay after everything. You might be busy, but feel free to call me anytime. 
Hey, Julia, are you busy? No time to be busy. You never text me. What's going down? Besides everything, I was curious if you've ever heard of a guy named Frank who lives in the RV. Oh, is this from last episode? Did I forget to read these? You mean the van down by the river? I heard he's sketchy, meth head. That's about it. Why? Are you doing your own investigation without my help? No, just bored. Talk soon. Thanks. Okay, but you can't keep secrets from Ace Reporter Juliet Watson. Hello? <laughs> she was really hoping for a response there. All right. Let's see what we got. Man, there's a lot in this one, huh? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. This is not. Hold, hold up. Uh, it's not. I don't like strangers having my... Oh, hey, honey. I just got a weird text warning me about... My nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank? And it's from a block number. Oh, I'm sorry. Some jackass in my class thought that would be funny to send. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number, okay? Me either. neither. Sorry. I'm just being a dad. I know this has been a tough week for you. It's almost over. I'll call you guys later. Love you. Okay. Man, I keep getting more messages. <laughs> Hey, girlfriend, let me know when you want to come over to my room. I'll give you a fashion makeover. Oh, thanks, Courtney. I'm swamped with the homework now, but I'll check with you later. Thank you again for the offer. Chloe, okay. Oh, God, there's so much. Chloe, I understand you're going through a lot. Wait, oh, okay, okay. Let's, let, okay, hold up. I have something I to show you. Okay, we already seen that. Sorry I got in your face today. And took out my bullshit rage on my best friend. Chloe, I understand. You're going through a lot. We all are. Besides, I threw your beanie out the window and busted out my rewind. Okay, that is your one get get out of emoji for <laughs> jail free card. But we need to stock up on six ca coffee and candy for all for an all nighter. We have to get into Rachel and Kate's detective mode. Excellent, dear Watson. I'll bring my uh, thinking cap. Why didn't we bring out uh, <laughs> Juliet Watson? Uh, okay, no worries. I have a beanie. I'll swing by and pick you up. Sweet. I'll be ready. XOXO XO. And that was no emoji. Okay. So, okay, I'm guessing that's what happened after episode, the last episode. Looks like David already booked a room. Damn. I feel bad though. I really do. Okay, we got TV covering the news. What's this? Ouch. David, do not be here when I get back from work. I mean it. Damn. I real I do feel bad because he probably uh, I think this all started with my vision of a tornado. Didn't want to deal like I I I pretty much caused it before, but at the same time I was also trying to protect uh everyone well arcadia bay was was until now considered a quaint fishing and tourist nook in, in the oregon coast on the oregon co coast the town that time forgot is since beginning since the beginning of this week in a literal eye of the environmental storm starting with a freak snowfall an unprecedented eclipse dying birds and now a half dozen beached whales Arcadia Bay's strange weather is being studied by prominent state and national scientists, apparently including NASA. What's even more incredible than these eco-phenomena is the fact that uh, not a single uh, meteorologist has offered any actual theory or even reason for this atom atmospheric uh, havoc fuck words. Uh, okay. Okay, well, uh, I guess that's the thing. Wait, can I go out here? Hey! There's some dead birds! It's kind of crazy, especially since this storm was also happening in the other timeline. Okay, is there any, like, pictures I can take out here? Oh, what's this? William never finished painting that wall. Shit! Yeah, I forgot the whole house was painted! Damn. All right. He probably took everything out, huh? It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Well, I see there's lockers now. 
All right, let's take a look. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. All right. As per our discussion about the new campus surveillance system, Miss Grant has informed me that her petition was only one a avenue of protest. Fucking. Oh, wait, no, one avenue. One. I thought it was going to say one. <laughs> one march where I was like, no, don't beat me up because I didn't know what I had to sign. While we initiate this new era of Blackwell security, we must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our students. Oh, Fair. wow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. I didn't need a surveillance camera to see the suspicion coming. Best of luck to you. At least he has Damn. one weird fan. Dear Mr. Matson, I just wanted to let you know I think it's bullshit that uh, what happened to you in the school has too many libtards. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I find too many games using that words. Libtard uh, metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. Metrosexual? What the fuck is a metrosexual? I've never heard of that. Uh, if someone's going to educate me in the comments. Or I'll educate myself after the video. We'll find out. I felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge. And I thought about you protecting, protecting me. I hope you will come back to Blackwell and make sure we are all safe at night. I am scared of this school. Did he resign? I wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. I apologize for my outburst yesterday in your office. Uh, I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. There is a cancer at Blackwell Academy, and without me, it will continue to spread. Oh. Okay. So he, he got fired. Crazy. I don't think he should have lost his job. I think he should have just calmed the fuck down. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Damn, okay. Well, I, I wouldn't be shocked trying to pay all the bills. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Joyce, you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overstepped bounds with the surveillance and suspicion, and I am truly sorry, sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay I have never told you. You are my wife and partner, and I know we should have no secrets. I intended to tell you and everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student committed suicide on my watch. You kicked me out of my favorite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me... Dot, dot, dot. Damn. You know, I, I think this is a good way for him to, like... Maybe he'll have a redemption arc. I really hope he does. Where he comes back better. I really hope. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Best, Sean Prescott. Did he cover something up? I wouldn't be shocked. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. I wonder if David is going to the party. All right, let's take a look. Um, okay, it has to be this locker. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Fuck. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, I need to find a way to break this padlock. Oh. Look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move this plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Gotta make sure you're all good. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. All right. And we should move the plank back. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy legs. I was say, that way they are not going to be harmed in case that door opens. Or if they try to get rid of the eggs. I don't want to accidentally have them destroyed. Okay, let's see. We have to think of a... Oh, hey! Okay. Fuck code. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. 
This is my favorite thing to do. For a crowbar. All right, let's do it. And we can always rewind Sorry, after. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. All right, hold up. So, okay, she, he was just very suspicious. So we got times. Oh, he saw it. Really? He got the license plate. Damn, he's been stalking everyone. Jesus Christ. Score. Back to Chloe now. Wait, hold up. I'm probably gonna regret this, but just in case, let's go ahead, let's rewind that shit. Let's say if we absolutely have to, we can uh we can break it again and put it back in. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Call Chloe. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah? Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. All right. Well, guys, we're going to go ahead. We're going to end it here. If you guys enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe. Check out the links in the description below. Really helps out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.